of 8 credit, All Elite Wrestling welcome to Bleacher Report's coverage and recap of the Irrevolution pay-per-view. It only holds a handful of PPVs each year, so every single one feels like a big deal. As usual, management has put together a massive card with some huge matchups. Due to Sammy Guevara competing in a six-man tag match, the TNT Championship was the one belt not on the line. Every other title was for grabs in one way or another. But even the non-title contests felt like a big deal. CM Punk vs MJF and John Moxley vs Brian Danielson both feel like major showdowns because so much effort has been put into the storylines. Let's take a look at everything that happened on Sunday's show. 1 of 8 credit, All Elite Wrestling The first match on the buy-in was Chris Statlander vs Layla Hirsch. Hirsch tried to run at Statlander but the alien scooped her up for a slam. She brought Hirsch down into a headlock but the grappler was quick to get to her feet. Hirsch began to focus on Statlander's elbow to soften her up. She spent a long time attacking the arm before Statlander was able to mount some offense of her own. She caught Hirsch coming off the rope in a springboard and locked her in a body scissor. Hirsch drilled her with an elbow before they started brawling. Statlander planted her with a blue thunder bomb for a close two count. Hirsch took her off the apron with a hurricane rana that did some damage to both women. Hirsch used a turnbuckle she found under the ring as a weapon before hitting a moon's alt for the win. Great, the analysis this was a good match that will likely be overshadowed by the other bouts on the card. Both women did a great job, but the feud did not feel like it needed to be on the PPV. However, they proved they belong on the card by having a physical encounter that made both of them look like tough competitors. This was a good way to start the show. 2 of 8 credit, All Elite Wrestling Hook took on his former teacher, QT Marshall, in the second buy-in match of the night. As expected, Hook came out to a nice ovation. He went behind QT and knocked him down to quickly show his former mentor that he is not intimidated. He brought him down to the mat with a throw and put him in a submission, 